and welcome back to another art video and this is going to be a video about my traveling art setup um i'm going on vacation to canada to visit my family and i decided that i wanted to bring a few little art supplies and that it would be cool to make a video showing um how i set that up so yeah i'm just gonna get straight into it so my actual sketchbook is the moleskin sketchbook this is my second moleskin and i love them i know the paper quality isn't as nice as it used to be but i never had the old moleskins so it seems pretty nice to me it's the favorite sketchbook it's my favorite sketchbook that i've ever had and so it has a little elastic strap around it to make sure your pages don't get like all crumpled and that it opens in your bag or whatever um, it has a bookmark so you know which page you're on. I don't use it that often. Um, it also has a little pocket in the back which is nice in case you do any like little loose sketches on random pieces of paper which I tend to do. I also have this, uh, I like to have a scrap piece of paper in the back of my moleskin to put behind, you'll see later that I have some markers in my pencil case, but I like to put it behind the pages if I'm using markers so that it doesn't bleed through and just make a mess everywhere. And this is also useful to test out colors and that just that kind of thing in general. Of course, I couldn't take a long-term vacation without having some watercolors. So this is the newest watercolor set that I have. And it's a Winsor & Newton travel set. And I decided to take this instead of my Koi watercolors because this is just smaller and more compact. And I feel like, um, I feel like it would be easier to travel with. And so it has... Um, 12 colors in it. It doesn't have a black, which is kind of disappointing, but I don't know. You win some, you lose some, whatever. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just really like this set, and the pans are removable, so it gets kind of annoying when it's jumbling around in your bag. Sometimes these pans will get stuck to the mixing uh, trays there. Also, the mixing trays are kind of small, but that's because it's a compact set, so it's not the best watercolor set that, I mean, it's not my favorite in terms of like how it's set up, but it's good for traveling because it's teeny tiny and it's really cute and I like it. It also comes with a small little travel brush, but I decided to bring my um, water brush instead, which is in the pencil case. Speaking of pencil case, here's my pencil case. This is a pencil case that I actually just bought today. I just thought it was teeny tiny. I also have another big pencil case that has my school logo on it. So that's, <laughs> that's one of the reasons I didn't want to use that one because I knew I would film this video. Anyway. This is an Artist Loft pencil pouch thing that I got at Michael's today, and it was like $3. It was really cheap, and I like it. It's small, it doesn't have much room for things, but I like it because it gives me like a limited amount and just kind of challenges you, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. So I'll just go ahead and dive right in. I'll just pick what's off the top first. The first thing I have is this Uniball Signo white gel pen, and I use this for highlights and like eyes, lips, hair, uh, on the cheeks sometimes, on the nose, uh, just whatever needs like some widening up. I'll also use this if I make a line too thick. I just go over it with this and it kind of it kind of hides your mistake. The next thing in the pencil pouch is this Aquash, uh, Pentel Aquash water brush and I use this with watercolor as I said. This is really nice for travel because you don't have to have a cup of water. Um, to use it, so I don't know. I don't think I would do watercolor on a plane per se, um, but if you're in a place where you have time to do watercolor but you don't have the means of getting a cup of water and setting it out, um, this is really nice for that kind of thing. The next thing in the pouch is another aquash, and this is another thing I just bought today as I'm filming this video. Um, this is an aquash and it has ink pre-filled in it. You can fill the aquash brush pens um, in ink anyway. You can like customize a brush pen sort of. <laughs> um, but this is the one that they pre-sell and it has ink in it called light black and I really like it. It's a dark gray and I'm looking forward to experimenting with this one. Next thing in this pencil pouch are just a few Copic markers. I was debating taking some Pro markers because I really, really like Pro markers and I like the colors I have, but Pro markers are kind of uh, a little bit more chunky than Copic markers. And so I don't think I would have been able to fit that many in this pencil pouch. So that's why I went with some Copic sketch markers and I just picked a few colors that I knew wouldn't die on me because a lot of my markers are going to die on me. 
and I just picked some colors. I tried to get a wide spectrum, and I'm thinking of doing a three marker challenge with this. So you might see this, you might see that next time I upload a video. I'm pre-filming this, so <laughs> um, I'll try to do a three marker challenge with this with these uh, while I'm on the go. So that'll be fun. Let me know if you want to see that. The next thing in here is this Copic Multiliner. It's the 05, and I just use this for outlining whenever I don't feel like using a brush pen. Um, and yeah, <laughs> that's basically it. I don't really, uh, I wouldn't say I like the Copic Multiliners that much. Um, so far this one hasn't given me any trouble, but I had some Copic Multiliners in 0.3 and those broke on me, both of them, so, um, yeah, but I really, really like this pen, actually. It feels really nice to hold. It's a little bit heavy, but not too, like, chunky, and, yeah, I just like, I just think I prefer the 0 0.5 tip. The next thing I have in here is a black sharpie. I don't know, just in case, um, I need to use a black sharpie, and I brought the one that has a fine nib and a larger nib. You know the drill. Um, yeah, that's basically it. The next thing in here is a Prismacolor Kali Erase Pencil. This is purple. It's my favorite to use because I feel like um, whenever I use purple, I can use a wide variety of colors with it and it'll go well. Like I can use a cyan color, uh, let's say, and it'll work well with the purple, but I can also use like an earthy tone, like a brown or something, and it will still blend with the purple. That's just my opinion, and I just like <laughs> this color purple, so yeah, that's all. The next thing is a Micron in 01, and I just have this so I can get a teeny tiny fine tip if I need to. <laughs> um, I'll lift this to the camera so you can see how tiny it is. Let's see. Yes, it's very... Very, very uh, teeny tiny, and I just have this in case I need to do some small details or if I feel like doing some small details. And like I said, I don't like the Copic Multiliners that are thinner than 0.5 because they always break on me. I don't know if that's because I have a heavy hand. It probably is. It's probably my fault, but I just, I just prefer a thicker tip. Um, except for on Microns. Microns are pretty durable um, in my experience. The next thing I have are just two random uh, pencils to sketch in if I don't feel like using the colored pencil. <laughs> um, uh, these are just two random graphite pencils. This one is, I don't know, I think it's some kind of brand. <laughs> it's something, um, but it just has an eraser. This is in case I'm like really in a pinch. I don't want to have to get out this eraser. Um, to use, but I don't know. This is an HB pencil, uh, just standard like school pencil. This is an artist loft pencil in 2B. I like sketching in some darker things sometimes, and this is also in case I feel like doing some graphite drawing. I also have this white eraser. I think this is artist loft. I can't remember. I got it in a set of like art supplies, you know, like the art supply sets that a lot of people um, buy their kids for Christmas. That's where I got this, and yeah, it's a pretty nice eraser. It's pretty hard, um, and it erases pretty well. The next thing I have is this Pentel pocket brush pen, and it's the black ink. <laughs> there only is black ink. That's the only ink they have. Um, it has a brush tip, um, real bristles. All the brush pens in here have real bristles, just so you know. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll just get close to see if you can see. I don't know if you can see the real bristles. Uh, anyway. But yeah, this is one of my favorite pens, and I'll probably use it for like blocking in black because that watercolor set doesn't have in black. I also use it for like outlining, all that kind of thing. The next thing is the Stella Wink of Glitter brush pen, or Stella, let's see, Wink of Stella brush. That's what it's called. Okay, so this is basically a gold thing that I got because I needed something that was gold to put in my pencil case and I was at Michael's today and I decided that I wanted something gold, so I went and got this Wink of Stella glitter brush pen. Um, it's, not an it's not an opaque gold, like say a gold jelly roll, or I'll compare it to the Wizard Newton gold ink. It's not like an opaque gold, like gold ink, <laughs> um, but it's like kind of a, I'll just swatch it for you. <laughs> If you can see that, it's kind of a like a gold yellowish color, and then it has gold ink laid over top of it. Um, so it's not an opaque gold, which is what I was expecting, but it's still nice, and I'll still use it for like 
gold things. Um, and one more thing that I'm gonna add right now. I'm gonna add this clear Jelly Roll Stardust pen. I forgot about it until just now. And I decided that I needed a sparkly thing to, to put in here. Um, this is the Jelly Roll Stardust clear sparkly pen. And yeah, that's basically all. I'm getting a call. <laughs> But yeah, that is my on-the-go travel art supply setup, um, or my travel supplies, I guess you could say. Um, yeah, I'm really excited to go on this vacation, and I'm excited to do some art while I'm on it. I love like drawing on planes. And I don't know, it just makes me excited to like pack all these art supplies together. I don't know why. Um, hopefully, there will be some artsy video uh, hopefully there will be some travel kind of video whenever I'm back from vacation hopefully I'll film something like I said I wanted to film that three marker challenge kind of thing while I'm on the go so I don't know how that'll go but maybe I'll do it um I, I want to film something so hopefully you will see that when I'm back also a little announcement at the end of this video if you're watching this video right now surprise I'm not here <laughs> Um, I'm in Canada right now on vacation. I've scheduled this video to upload on a Friday. I don't know if it's the first Friday or second Friday. I haven't figured out the schedule. But yeah, I pre-filmed two videos because I'm going to be gone for two weeks. And so you'll, <laughs> you'll be seeing two videos that are just uh, filmed in advance. Um, I just, it's a smaller amount of videos than I normally do. I normally just upload videos whenever I upload them. I don't have a schedule, but just because I'm uh, on the go and I need to schedule these to upload, I just picked Friday and I'll upload these on Friday just because a lot of people upload on Friday and I just wanted to add to that because I know I like coming home and seeing a lot of content to watch on Friday. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. I'm putting in an effort to keep uploading something for you guys to watch while I'm gone and I hope you like this video I'm sorry I rambled on at the end I'll just go I hope you guys like this video thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye